this is good. I get to watch myself soldering. Hello, welcome to episode 12 of my RBS3. I'm going to commentate on myself today. The idea is that I connect the second switch up to the existing track using copper wire and track connectors. A couple of bits of metal there, nicely bent. Those little squares are 9mm MDF squares, so 9mm is the distance between the two tracks. Resistance soldering again. Lots of cleaning. I use um, wire wool, washing up liquid, and a lot of elbow grease. Bend it straight, and I'm going to snip off the end. And a bit more. Now do a test fit and test wrong with the ball. Now I have to try to hold it in place. Um, I use all these clips and clamps and bits of wood in order to kind of set up a framework in order to hold it tight. And once you've got the first joint soldered, then it should be more stable. And you can take away the clamps. Another little test. So the ball wasn't going that far because the angle wasn't right. But get sorted in the next bit I think. So I've now got the two curves coming round, cut both tracks at the same time and I should then have nice curves that, that join each other. You can see there that I've, um, I've actually removed one of the solder joints in order to allow the tracks to flex a bit. Oh this is a horrible joint don't watch this bit. Sometimes they just don't want to go right. I think I do it again. Yeah. So I'm now trying to hold everything still and apply the heat and hold it still whilst it cools. There we go, done it, done it. And the other one, bend that round, cut it in line. I think it's called a butt joint. Bit of heat, bit of solder. That one worked really well, <laughs> that one was good. Get some more straight copper. And my favourite tin of paint to do a nice big bend. Make sure I've got the bend about right. Lay it down. Track spaces. Apply some solder to both tracks. Just a little blob. And then here comes the spacer. And the second one usually about 50 millimeters apart. Once you've got two, you can pick it up. Have a little test fit. Mark roughly where I want the next two spacers. And put them on. Clean, 
ini Another test bit Run the ball down, see if it works Goes to the right And The left Now I'm going to make the little brackets out of 2mm copper wire in order to support that length of track that I've just fitted. So lots of clamps, a bit of flux, heat and solder. That's it. Nice. Good joint. Tweak. Snip. Solder on the top and the bottom. It's a little bit offset. Bend it back with the pliers. There we go. Clean. Beautiful. And another joint. Heat on both the horizontal and the vertical. You don't want it to drip on the vertical ones. Gravity makes the solder drip down, so you've got to be really careful you don't put too much on when the vertical wire is hot. Sometimes I like to draw it back using heat on the horizontal. That's a good joint, happy with that. That will clean up. And on top of that. Job done. Right, here's a ball. Final test. Goes to the right. Come here. And go to the left. Brilliant. That's it. I've soldered and I've watched myself and I'm very pleased with how it's gone actually. It's uh, it's looking very good. The the amount of track I've got, the height to fall ratio is is very good curves are coming out really nice and it's strong and it works and it's reliable so um, yeah lots of good stuff all around so thank you very much for watching please subscribe using this button here i'll see you again next week bye